Greetings from the medicine cabinet. I'm Chill Pill and this is Not Bad, the show where I take songs I previously disliked and see if I like them now. All right, coming up next, we have Penrose and Convexity's song, Insurgency. I never quite knew what kinds of songs Penrose made, but I was expecting something different from a regular Convexity track. And with this song, I not only got a regular Convexity track, but I feel like a lot of the sound design was something I've heard a lot anyway from Convexity. Now this being the second Convexity song that we've done on Not Bad so far, I get a lot more enjoyment out of his songs that aren't dubstep, just because uh, all the experimentation mixed with his regular style, I feel like does, does better than his, uh, than his dubstep. So that being said, let's get into Insurgency and let's see if, uh, if it's not just any Convexity song, and maybe we'll see a hint of uh, what Penrose does here. Classic Convexity piano chords. Ooh. This is something maybe Penrose added, is what I'm thinking. That was a really cool fill. And just this intro is very cool, especially that bass in the background. They put a lot into this. I am expecting some kind of revolution to come out of this. Hopefully this is the build up into the drop. Yes, it is. Ooh, big crush vocal. Okay, this would maybe be cool if it had more of a solid lead up into it. I feel like we didn't get a lot of warning coming into this, which is what the build up is supposed to do. So maybe if this wasn't, if they didn't have a fake out drop, this drop would be better. But I don't know, I wasn't connecting with that. It kind of sounded piercing to me. But everything around it is cool, like these, Hopefully they switch it up in the midsection, although I won't complain very much if they don't. That fill is a very good choice. Yeah, it doesn't seem like they do a lot that is different here. Okay. That lead in the background is really cool. The they mix this part very well. Maybe if they did melodic dubstep interspersed with regular dubstep basses, this would be better. So I'm a, I'm a gangster. Yeah, I don't like that sound, but that wub 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 that they had in the beginning of this drop was cool. I'm starting to think, what if they started with this four on the floor beat instead of a regular dubstep beat? Yeah, the drop just sounds like something that just kind of has to be there because it's dubstep. And there's not, it doesn't fit with the rest of the song very well. Yeah, I guess this is all right. Okay, well there's Insurgency. The drops were so out of place that if they were taken out and there were no drops at all, it actually would have had a higher ranking in my book. But the sound design was cool. What I'm thinking is that with the X in it, maybe they both 
made separate things and came together rather than sat down together and made a song in each other's presence. Maybe they were sending wave files to each other over Discord or email, but I wasn't exactly feeling this song's coherence. I liked the intro, the midsection, and the outro a whole lot more than the drops. I don't know. So as a song overall, just because of how good the intro, midsection, and outro were, I'm feeling a 6.5 out of 10. If the breakdowns were any less good, the rating would probably go down exponentially. Next song we have up is from an artist that I didn't actually quite connect with uh, for a lot of his songs, but this one specifically is Meltdown, and I believe it was Moombacore, like what he normally makes, but uh, I think this was just a, yet another Cyanide track that I didn't exactly enjoy, and uh, I don't quite know how I can explain it, because I don't exactly remember why I didn't like Cyanide style. Maybe it's the same reason why uh, Varian was a bit hit and miss for me, just because of the percussive basses that he used. Uh, maybe didn't quite give me the energy that it gave some people, and so uh, we'll see if that is actually true or if I'm just completely bogusing here. Um, here's Meltdown by Cyanide. This is a classic way to start Moombacore. And I like what he's doing here. Ooh. This sounds like something that would be on Dreamscape with the bit crushed kind of lead in the background. Not in the background. Okay, that's actually a really cool start. Yeah, this is a cool bass. I don't know if this is the drop. Or if this is just an intro. But I can jam to this. Because I'm glad he's adding more stuff to it. Because this, this can't do much just by itself. This is dark. This is making me feel kind of nervous listening to this. As if I'm about to go into like a dark, scary sewer or something. This has movement to it. It gets me moving, which is very good. Especially for Moombacore, which is a genre that typically needs to get you moving. This arpeggio is so cool. Just like everything he's doing here is so cool. I had just kind of come to accept that Cyanide was an artist that I just couldn't connect with as far as, you know, musically. But I'm starting to really reconsider that judgment. Oh, oh, yes. Oh man, that's so cool. That was a really good choice. I was, it, it makes it seem like he's just gonna do the same thing over again. But then he really switches it up. How did he design that base? Because that's insane. Oh my gosh! What a banger! This is so cool. I don't normally tend to like drops that sound like it's supposed to be a build-up, but this one, this was a very good execution of that kind of idea.
Oh man, this must have been so much fun to make. Man, this really fills your ears. This is such an atmospheric track while still being heavy. Surely I didn't listen to the song all the way through. Surely I just listened to like the first 15 seconds and thought, nah, this is trash. Man, that gets my heart racing. I imagine this is like the part in the story of the super scary sewer where the guy just like dies <laughs> and then it just fades out or zooms out and then fades to black. Just closure was the icing on the cake. Uh, Oh, there's still four seconds of silence. Okay. Man, that was absolutely insane. I enjoyed it all the way through. There's not much about the song that I don't enjoy. I can't think of a single thing in the song that I don't appreciate, at least. But I can't think of a single part of the song that I don't enjoy. So, well worth the five minutes. I'm gonna... I'm gonna have to give this one a 10 out of 10. This is just, that's what my gut is telling me. I'm open to finding something in the song I don't appreciate, which will bring it back down to about a 9.5. But for now, second first instinct is absolute 10 out of 10. This is an amazing track. Cyanide did wonderful work here. And so this is, this is perfect in my book. I need to stop comparing this to Tobu. This future bass part is cool. Uh, this that dissonant sine wave in the background is kind of pulling me out of it every time. Kind of like how Kylo Ren having his pants hiked up really pulled me out of The Last Jedi.